to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince, and I'm an Army veteran. And today I want to talk to you about the VA DIC for spouses, independents, and parents. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk only on YouTube. And if you're a veteran, would love to share your stories and our resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. My contact information is in the description. Also, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section. And if there's something you want to know more about, please leave it in the comment section and I will search it. I will search out the information for you and do a video. Now that I got that out the way, let's get into this topic, man. So again, man, we are talking about the VA DIC for spouses, dependents, and parents. What is this? This is the actual compensation benefit for spouses, dependents, and parents of a deceased veteran. I think this is a a great thing to talk about because a lot of people can be out there who may be in this situation to where you recently lost your spouse and you don't know what benefits you're entitled to because as most don't know or should know or probably do know, once that veteran passes on, you're not eligible to receive their compensation benefits anymore. It stops during the time or around about the time when that veteran passes. I don't know specifically the date or time, but I do know that that benefit is no longer eligible to the dependents or the spouse because it's an entitlement that the VA gives to the veteran specifically. So, for those who are in that situation, you have to go about applying for benefits for yourself. And we're going to go over that. And I'm going to take my time with this so that you can have a clear understanding of who you are and what you need to do. So if you're the surviving spouse, child, or parent of a service member who died in the line of duty, or the survivor of a veteran who died from a service-related injury or illness, you may be able to get a tax-free monetary benefit called VADIC. Find out if you can get VA benefits or compensation. Information for survivors with PAC at related claims. If you think you're eligible for VADIC under the PAC Act, you can submit a new application. If we denied your claim in the past and we think you may be eligible now, We'll try to contact you. We may be able to reevaluate your claim, but you do not need to wait for us to contact you before you reapply. You can learn more about what the PAC Act means for you as a survivor. So what I want to do is I want to click on that so that you can actually see what it's talking about. So as I click on that for information for survivors they have a couple of questions that they answer can veterans survivors get compensation payments under the PAC Act and it says yes if you're a surviving family member of a veteran you may be eligible for these benefits a monthly veteran dependent compensation payment you may qualify if you're the surviving spouse dependent child or parent of the veteran who died from a service-connected disability. You can learn how to apply for VADIC right here by clicking on this. It says at one time occurred benefit payments. You may qualify if you're surviving, if you're the surviving spouse, dependent or child or dependent or parent of a veteran who owed unpaid benefits at the time of their death. So if you are the parent or the child of a veteran who was owed money, you can be paid a survivor's pension. You may qualify if the surviving spouse or child of a veteran with wartime service. So again, you can click here to learn more about how to apply for benefits there. So now that when we go back, am I eligible for VA DIC as a surviving spouse or dependent? As a surviving spouse, you click on it, 
and it says eligibility. You may be eligible for VA benefit or compensation if you meet these requirements. One of these must be true. You live with the veteran or service member without a, a break until their death, or if you separated, you weren't at fault for the separation. One of these must be true. You married the veteran or service member within 15 years of their discharge from the period of military service during which the qualified illness or injury started or got worse, or you married the veteran or service member at least one year, or you had a child with the veteran or service member. No, if you remarry, you can receive or continue to receive compensation if one of these describes you. You remarry on or after December 16, 2003, and you were 57 years of age or older at the time you remarried, or you remarry on or after January 5, 2021, and you were 55 years of age or older at the time you remarried. Evidence. You need to provide evidence with your claim showing that one of these the, uh, one of these descriptions is true for the veteran or service member. Evidence may include documents like military service records, doctor re doctors' reports, and medical test results. Provide evidence showing that one of these is true. The service member died while on active duty, active duty for training, or in active duty training, or the veteran died from a service connected illness or injury, or the veteran died from a service-connected illness or injury, but was eligible for VA compensation for a service-connected disability related to a total disabling for a certain period of time. If the veteran eligibility was due to a rating or total disability, they must have had this rating for at least 10 years before their death or since the release from active duty are at least five years immediately before their death, five years immediately before their death, or at least one year before their death if they were a former prisoner of war who died after September 30th, 1999. No, totally disabling means the veg veteran's injury made it impossible for them to work. And you can learn more about um, the evidence you'll need to support your claim. As a surviving child, eligibility. You may be eligible for VA benefits or compensation if you meet these requirements. All of these must be true. You aren't married and you aren't included on the surviving spouse compensation and you're under the age of 18 or under the age of 23 if attending school. Note, if you were adopted out of the veterans or service member family, but meet all of the eligible criteria, you still qualify for compensation. Evidence. You need to provide evidence with your claim showing that one of these descriptions is true for the veteran or service member. Evidence may include documents like military service records, doctor reports, and medical test results. Provide evidence showing that one of these is true. The service member died while on active duty, active duty for training or inactive duty training, or the veteran died from a service-connected illness or injury, or the veteran didn't die from a service-connected injury or illness, but was eligible to receive VA compensation for a service-connected disability that was rated as total disabling for a certain period of time. If the veteran eligibility was due to service connected disability rating as total disabling they must have had this rating for at least 10 years before their death or since their release from active duty for at least five years immediately before their death or for at least one year before their death if they were a former prisoner of war who died after september 30th 1999 no, total disabling means veterans' injuries made it impossible for them to work. And you can learn more about this evidence you'll need to support by clicking on this tab. And as a surviving parent, you may be eligible for VA benefits or compensation if you 
meet these requirements. Both of these must be true. You're the biological adoptive or foster parent of the veteran or service member, and your income is below a certain amount. Check the parent's DIC rate table. So I'm going to click on it so that you can see the parent's DIC rate table. And this is the parent's DIC rate table. So you can just click on there, go to that box and look to see if you're on that list, which will help you. No, we define a foster parent or someone who survived in the role of a parent to the veteran or the service member before their last entry into active service. Evidence. You need to provide evidence with your claim showing that one of these descriptions is true for the veteran or service member. Evidence may include documents like military service records, doctor reports, and medical test results. Provide evidence showing that one of these is true. The service member died from an injury or illness while on active duty in the line of duty, while on active duty for training, or the service member died from an injury or certain illness in the line of duty while on inactive training or the veteran died from a service-connected illness or injury. You can learn more about the evidence you will need to support by clicking on this box. And no, if you are the survivor of a veteran who died from COVID-19 and the service-related condition made their illness worse, you may be eligible for VA DIC. When we review your application, we will consider whether a service-related condition contributed to your loved one's illness. What kind of benefits do I get? If you qualify, you get a tax-free monetary benefit. The amount you receive depends on the type of survivor you are. So we're going to click and see what kind of compensation you will receive. And it says if you're the surviving spouse, you receive monthly, your monthly payment rate is $1,562.74. And then from right here, from what I can see, they got extra added provisions that they pay out to the veteran. And this shows that um, in this example, we show the total monthly payment for someone with two children under 18 who qualify for the eight year um, provision and aid in attendance. So this is the to total monthly payment that you could receive, which is $3,388.03 per month if you fit within the description. And again, they have more examples for your case. And all you have to do is just go through and read up on all this stuff, man. And I'm going to put all this stuff in the description because, again, we're just trying to make sure that you know that this is out there. And this is for you, man. So all you have to do is um go there and apply for compensation. And right here, as you go and apply, they have it broken down to where they have all of these different forms on here that where you just go fill out all these forms and you can apply for your benefits. And if you need help, they have um right here in this tab where you can get help with your claim. So if you are stuck on the stuck in your um situ if you stuck trying to obtain or put down information or whatever the case may be, you can get the help right here. Um, they also have um the quick submit into that you can just go and quickly submit it without having to do what they ask you to do down here, which is mail in all this information. And they also want you to know um, that, man, you can get retro pay, man, from the starting point in the past. So if there's a starting point that you had in the past to where you started this, but you got denied or, you know, you avoid doing it or whatever the case may be, they want you to know that there's potential that you can be paid retro pay, which is what we call back pay for the time period that um you were sitting there trying to gather together information or you may got stressed out 
from, you know, going through this whole long procedure alone, especially if the veteran just died and, you know, you're going through the hardship with that, you know, that can be something that's very traumatic. So this right here is the actual information that you need as survivors to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you're being taken care of because the VA does have programs out there that's for family members. So I just really want to make um I'll help you become aware of this information that's out there for you. So as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince from Vet Talk. Vet Talk out. <laughs>